What's up everybody? I'm coming to you right now to give you guys an update on my 100 day challenge to myself. In the last video, I was talking about um, all the different goals that I had with uh, doing this challenge and I am now on the other side of this challenge. I have done 100 days. I'm super proud of myself for actually sticking to it pushing through all those mornings when I was like, I don't want to do this. This is not exciting. I don't care anymore. I'd much rather sleep in. Just like sighing, just like that, like, okay, fine. I got up, you know, it was like, just because I think part of this too is telling you guys that this is what I was doing was in the back of my mind in the mornings when I just wanted to lay there. I was like, no, you're getting up and those mornings when I was like maybe just not feeling like the cold water like I just don't want to do this like nobody will know nobody's watching me in the shower but I was that was the point the point was for me to trust myself to keep the promises to myself that I make I mean how many of us set these goals for ourselves like you know I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna you know start eating healthier or I'm gonna get up earlier or whatever our goals might be that we have for ourselves how many times have we started on a goal and gave up two weeks into January we're like you know screw it I don't you know this is too hard and you just move on with your life and it's the same old habits every day every day pushing through those mental barriers and physical barriers was what this was all about and I can tell you that I had two major goals in mind. Yes, I had other goals that I was working on, things like sticking to budgets, whether it was, a, you know, um, whether money budgets or food budgets or whatever, like sticking to budgets was a big thing too. And we'll get to that in a minute. But the main thing was consistency, habit change, trusting myself and proving to myself that I could do something hard for 100 days in a row. I mean, if you guys have never done anything like this, I can tell you through my personal experience that you gain a new respect for yourself when you actually do what you say you're going to do. Stephen Covey in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People says that private victory precedes public victory. And I believe that's so important. Like just to know that you're going to keep your word to yourself. Like if you tell yourself, I'm not touching, you know, whatever it is, you know, what your nemesis food, whether it's, you know, chocolate or French fries or pizza or whatever, I'm not touching that for two weeks. And, and you keep your promise to yourself. It feels amazing. I have, I wanted composition, body composition changes, and that's been happening. When I lost weight the first time, what I actually ended up doing was losing some muscle mass and it didn't make my body look the way I thought it should have looked after losing all that weight. So now I'm on the back side of that trying to fix the muscle that I lost. So now I'm in a new um, protocol. I'm doing um, a program called Metabolic Renewal. And it's actually written by a doctor that specializes in the metabolism of women once they hit menopause. So it's it's really, I can already see changes in the way I'm feeling and definitely the 100 day challenge, the, the butt lift video <laughs> that I did every single morning definitely lifted my rear, shaped my rear. Um, she said that it gives you a butt that looks like a peach emoji and that's definitely <laughs> what's been happening. So I'm really excited about that. It's nice to see that when you show up, Every single day, whether you feel like it or not, and you put in the work, you actually start to see some results. Also, the cold water, um, I worked my way up to five minutes and I stayed all the way through to the end, even though I was tempted at the end to just kind of not do five minutes when I realized all I really needed to do was two minutes to get the metabolism boosting benefits from, um, it does things for your hormones when you do two minutes. And I wanted that but I didn't need to do five, but I stayed with it because I had said that I was gonna do five minutes of cold water exposure every single morning, so I kept my promise to myself. On the back side of this, I can tell you that, yes, I'm doing a new protocol. The new protocol is I'm only working out um, a specific workout three days a week, but 
because I did this every single morning, me getting up, I have to do some kind of movement every morning and I'm still doing two minutes of cold water exposure just because I want those metabolic benefits every single morning. I, the first day I kind of was like, mm, you know, I don't have to do it today. You know, today is day 101. Yesterday I finished it. I'm moving on to something else. Like, but there was this itch inside me that was like, no, we must move. So I got up and I just did, I just did some yoga type stretching and breathing and just kind of centered myself. And that felt really nice. It felt really nice to just get up and just stretch out the lower back and, you know, do those cat stretches and do the waterfall pose and all those different things. Just like gave me that, that feeling like, okay, I, now I could kind of calm down because I just spent the last 100 days literally waking up doing a workout like yawning and going through the motions like I think that it just became a habit you know they say it takes about I think Dr. Carolina Leaf says it takes about 67 days to form a habit and I can definitely say if that's the case it's it's a habit for the rest of my life because it literally felt weird not getting up and immediately working out um, and then of course like I said I was tempted to you know not worry about doing my cold water but I did the two minutes anyway, just because I wanted that hormone boost because that's what I'm fighting with right now at this stage of my life is the hormones. So um, I want the HGH, the human growth hormone that makes you look and feel like you're younger and I wanted all that. So it, it's been, I'm. it's been, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Wednesday. So the last three days. I've been on a new protocol. I've already got two workouts in, but I have been getting up and moving and doing that. So really that's what it's about, guys. It's just personal growth, um, making sure that my body understands that it's not the one in charge I am. And I know it sounds weird to say that, like, what do you mean your body's not in charge? What I mean by saying that is that we have a mind that says, hey, this is what I want. But a lot of times, either through habit or laziness or just passivity, we don't actually push ourselves to do those things that we want to do. I don't want to don't want to be that person at the end of my life that looks back and says, you know, I could have done X, Y, and Z, but I never really, really gave it a go, or I never really, really tried. Like it that doesn't have a place in my life anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm growing, always growing because when you stay stagnant, you start actually going backwards and I don't want that. I want to always be growing and learning and moving forward. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, um, but there was really some key points in there. I just wanted to explain to you guys, like it's so important to keep the promises to yourself. And I guarantee you, if you ever decide to do something like this and really keep the promises you make to yourself, just make one small promise and, and stick with it. And then maybe make a little bigger promise the next time and stick with it. And, and before you know it, you'll look back and you'll be like, whoa, where did all this growth happen? Like, I just feel like I'm in this major growth spurt right now in my life where I'm just learning and there's so many areas in my life that I'm interested in learning and things like that. So just wanted to bring you guys in on the journey. Thank you for watching and I'd like to take the end of this video to thank my husband for supporting me through all of this. Um, he's always like commenting on my videos, um, telling me how proud he is of me for sticking to my word, for changing my habits, for those moments when everyone around me is eating, you know, I don't know, like just, or even just regular food and I'm sticking to, you know, my greens and, um, my microgreens and my, you know, protein drinks and all those things that I've put all this research into and all these things that I'm eating to heal my body and stay youthful and feel good all the time. He's proud of me for doing that. And he expresses that. And I just want to say, thank you, baby. I love you. Bye, everybody.